All right, we got Buddy and Joe. What's up, What's buddy? What's happening, Dick? Out to a brand new permission here. We're going to check out right now. And uh, we got about three other spots we're going to stop to, but we'll, this is the number one here. Small field, so it won't take us long in this one. And then we head to the next one. Stay Hi, our first field was a bus, cancel and just jump. So we're all packing it up right now and going to head out of here. Come on, fellas, let's do it. Next one coming up. Here we go. All right, brand new field here, and we're just checking it out. Now, I usually keep my iron on until I start getting a lot of iron hit so I know in the, into some kind of uh, old house site. Now, I'm seeing stuff in the ground here. There's an old piece of glass right there, if y'all see it. Let's check it out real quick. I just pulled up a, uh, yep, that's an old purple glass. Starting to get hits like crazy on my, um, on my iron. So now what I'm going to do, I know it's all in here. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not, but it's everywhere. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna cut my iron off because it can count out a good signal. Cut that off and run through here looking for something good now. Like that right there. A little choppy, not real, real consistent, but it's good enough, I think, to uh, do a little test dig right here since we're starting getting some, uh, since we're all getting some good iron numbers here. We gotta check it out. All right, here we go. Ah, all right, she's at the ground. Let's see if we got it. Ah, I don't like that because now the chain got got higher on me. That could tell me it's cancel off. Okay, I'll take it out about the ground. Take two hands sometimes. Let's see if. It's, let's see where we're at. No, it's not out yet. That little easy 19 there is still in the ground actually. I think I got two targets here, actually. Mm -hmm. There it is. It's out. Nice, easy uh, 18. Could be canceled, but might not be. All right, send that clog right there. And this clog right here. I hear it. And it is canceled. Gonna have a lot of cancel on here. I can see that. All right, let's generally dig good, good signals all we'll be digging. Well, it's definitely some occupations area. How old, I don't know right now. Of course, it could be over time. Old, old, but that doesn't look that old right there. That glass right there does not look that old to me. I saw another piece of glass over here somewhere. But I did just get this right here. Check it out. It is a old, old pocket knife right there. It looks like it's got some brass insert in it. All the blades are probably rusted out probably. I see one blade right there, but... Anyway, it's the first rug we found. All right, let's keep trying this. Here. Man, this place is loaded up with uh, cancelaw, but I think I just dug something right here. Let's check it out. Nice debuckle right here. I'm getting ready to move down to the other end of the field, but I think I might stick around this here just a little bit longer. See what we can find here. All right, let's keep getting up here. We go. Well, I thought I had me another piece of cancelaw, but it's not. That is an old spoon. Let's see if we can straighten it up a little bit anyway. Oh, yeah, I figured that. They don't last when you start to straighten them up too much. You can even probably do it, but probably an old spoon. We'll have to check. It's silver plated for sure. You see the, see the silver on it right there, which you can see the uh, coming through right there. So we might be able to get a date off this if we can clean it up enough to get a, a name off the back of it right here. We may be able to get, Google it or tell you. You can do anything on Google. Google it and find out maybe a date range for it. All right, back well, up. Definitely an old site. I'm starting to see a lot of pottery and glass everywhere in here. So I don't know. We'll have to keep cleaning, checking around here and see if we can find. Maybe we find an old piece of pottery or something too. Who knows? All right, let's keep keep digging and detecting and see what we can find. Here we go. All right, I think this is probably the either a uh, compact case like for for a powder for a woman like I found in one of the last hunts or the back of a watch. I'm not sure which one's kind of thin for a watch here. I think it's probably um, a cosmetic case. So old stuff here, old stuff. All right, check this out right here. I'm not sure what kind of animal does this, but I guess as they bury into the ground, it's putting the mud up above it and creates like a little sand castle right here. Kind of cool looking in it. That one's filled with water. That one's not. He's probably down in there. Whatever it is, not sure what it is, but it's kind of cool looking though. I thought I'd show you all that real quick. We're working our way to the end of the field here, and Buddy's going to pick us up. 
Uh, I'm gonna kind of do a little scouting through the rest of this field. We found a few things. Oh, I did. I don't think they found hardly anything, but uh, we're going. All right, y'all get your walking shoes on because this is a huge field right here. Look at this. We got a lot of searching to do in this field. We did find in a previous hunch on the other side of those woods a nice place over there. Found a lot of buttons and coins, so we're just hoping it might be another home site somewhere in here. So let's give it a shot right now. Here we go. All right, there is a lot of water in this field, so I got to keep my eyes open for snakes. Sun out, but it's a little cool today, actually, so hopefully it won't be any out. Right now, I got my iron on. Listen for that machine gun effect <laughs> with the nails. Once I hit that, I know it's a, a good colonial site, or at least an old house site anyway, and uh, we'll cut the iron off, and then we'll start looking for some good stuff. But right now, I got it on, just waiting to see if I can hear some iron in here. And we're gonna get going right now. Here we go. All right, no relics yet, but I just want to let you know when I'm searching a field this big, you can't hardly see Buddy over there, and you can't, I can't even see uh, Joe. And our cars are way back there, you can't even see them. It's a huge, huge field. But anytime I come to a field like this, the first thing I look for is high ground. The highest ground in the field is where they would have probably built uh, a structure at, or a house. And that's where I'm at right now. I'm in a pretty high ground right here. I got nothing. So a lot of civil activity all in here too. So I'm sure they walked through here, camped around here. We're just hoping to maybe find a campsite in here too. So anyway, maybe find a firing range, dig 100 bullets. That's what I'm hoping. All right, we're going to keep looking around here. As you can see behind me, we've got a long way to go. All right, we're finally getting a little bit of brick activity here. I see little pieces of brick in the ground here, so things are picking up here. We might have something going on right here. All right, let's check this out good. All right, I'm really excited about it right here. If you can see, see the brick right here? Brick in the ground everywhere. I just got something right here. It's round. I know it's round. I don't know what it is yet. I think it's going to be copper, though. But we got a round object in the sand here. It might be... All right, I know y'all don't like to see this, but I gotta do it. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a weedy. We'll take it, dude. I think it's a weedy. All right, let's back it up. All right, we got a definite house site here. As you can see, I got oyster shell here, oyster shell here, brick all on the ground in here everywhere. So we definitely got a house site here. Joe's over there dug a couple uh, horse guide rings, and I've dug a couple things, a weedy and some other stuff, but. Definitely a house site that's in here. So we're going to, we're just scouting today, coming back to Mar. So what we'll do is uh, mark this and hit the Mar. And uh, we got another house site in the woods we want to go check out. And some high ground over here we'll check out. We'll get ready so we know what to do tomorrow. It's just a scouting mission today. So uh, let's go over here and check the rest of this uh, farm out. It's a huge farm, a lot of acres to look at. So here we go. All right, we're getting ready to try a new field. I don't know if y'all can see him, but there's a turkey over there. Y'all see him over there? There he is. He's kind of easing through the field right there. I'm surprised he's still in the field. Sometimes you come out here and see 15 turkeys in the field. All right, wild turkey. Not to drink. The real wild turkey. All right, our final field of the day right here. That old turkey, he's running like crazy back there. He sees us coming. All right, let's get out of here. We've got to go through that little opening right there and check our field back there. But man, we are not doing too good today. Man, a lot of scouting, but not a lot of relics. All right, here we go. All right, I just started coming around this corner and there's turkeys all in the field here. We'll try to slip over without scaring them too fast so you can actually see them right there. See them? One, two, three, four, five, six turkeys. It's like six turkeys right there. They're not too happy to be coming around here. Can y'all see them? Hopefully I get a little shot of them. They'll be gone for a while. Get around here very good. They will take off big time. They're not going to stay, that's for sure. Look at them in the field right there. That's pretty cool. All right, I just literally walked about a mile to the back of this field. Not one good target. Unbelievable. I'm actually standing on a nice high ground right here. In the back of the field, this would be a perfect home site where it's nice and raised up above the rest of the field, but it's not. So, 
They might have to call it a day, I'm not sure. Whew. They didn't come that back this way, Joe and and Buddy are back there somewhere, but uh, they're checking their other areas, I guess, but nothing. All right, well, let's head back. Maybe we'll get a target way back, maybe not. I doubt it because I hadn't hit any iron at all in here, so we might have to hit some of our old spots. Tomorrow we might have to come back and hit some of our old spots that we've got stuff at, but I hate to do it, but I was hoping to find a new spot today, but not looking good, so stay tuned. We'll see what comes up. All right, we made it back home, but that was the worst hunt we've had in 2020. What do you think, buddy? I got skunked. Man, I got a few things I'll show you in just a minute, but Joe and Buddy pretty much got skunked, yep. I guess. You got a few little odds and ends, but yeah, nothing, nothing nothing we need to show you anyway, I don't think. But uh, unbelievable. is uh, hundreds of acres we went through just trying to find that site. And Anyway, we'll talk about it in a second. Stay tuned. All right, we knew it was going to happen one day. Buddy and Joe got skunked today. At least they didn't want to show us what they found. So anyway, I did find a few things I'm going to show you in just a minute, but just to go over a little what we did today, hundreds, I must say several hundred acres we were exploring today, right next to some great Civil War sites, some colonial sites, just knew we were going to dig some bullets and stuff in there, but we didn't dig one bullet. I did dig some some stuff here, but no no Civil War stuff, which I thought was sure we would. I thought maybe we hit a little campsite in one of those fields and all. We hit a bunch of fields, too. But anyway, we did uh, find a few things today, so let's check them out. All right, I did pick up a few things, as you can see. I'm showing them in my trash today because uh, I don't have all, as much other stuff to show you, but some of that stuff, I'm not sure what it is, to tell you the truth. But anyway, it might be something, some of that stuff. But uh, there were some, was some pottery in the field, or she's showing the field, so we know it was a, a little bit older site anyway, most likely. Uh, I did find a few things. There's some modern bullets here. Not sure what that is. That's an unknown. If we might figure out what that is right there. It's got some kind of like he screwed into something there. Uh, I know what this is. It's an old pocket knife right there. It's kind of cool. Uh, the outside seems to be gone on it. Now, there's a blade on it. You can see the blade right there, though, where you'd pull it out right there. So, there's a blade left in it. Um, this right here, it could be a button ring or something, potentially. I'm not sure about that. Uh, we did get one D buckle. Uh, don't know the age. D buckles. We talked about that before. Hard to tell the age on some of them sometimes. Uh, I did get one spoon, and uh, I'll show a picture of the. Uh, it's got like a little. Uh, how it looks in here somewhere. It's got a little thing over oh, right here. I showed that up top there, and it does have Newport plated silver written right back here on the back. And I looked it up, I think it's probably mid-1900s. So this one house site, we found several house sites, but this one I'm thinking could be like early 1900s potentially. Uh, so it could have silver in it for sure, but not going to have any colonial, good colonial stuff in it. So I think we're not going to go back. We might not go back there because we might dig, dig a piece of silver, but it um, it's not going to have colonial, I don't think. But there was colonial right, right on the other field right next to it, but... That's how it goes. I dug this, I thought for sure, and I, I thought it was a like a cosmetic case or something. But then I started looking at some other finds, and I had dug this not too far from it. I'm thinking that's part of the pocket watch, is what my thought theory is on that now. That's definitely, I think, a piece to a pocket watch. It was dug not far from that, so I'm thinking that went in there. We all think. That's my theory right there on that. Uh, some lead, melted lead. Little pieces of brass in here, and it gave me really good signals. Um, one other thing, he, no, two other things, actually. I think this is actually leather, old, dried up leather, getting ready to get corroded, but definitely leather that was down. I dug at something at the ground. This was not right in the ground with it, so that's kind of cool. Never dug leather before. I think that probably will rot. So that's probably like 50s, early, mid-1900s, probably why it's still there. 16, 1700s, that's all gone, so... And I got one weedy. That's it. I couldn't get the date off of it. It's such bad shape. So we got a few things. Uh, we didn't. We just did a little after, quick afternoon run anyway. Only a couple of uh, maybe three hours. So, but anyway, we uh, we definitely did not hit the honey hole. It still might be there. You can miss a little tiny 50 foot spot in one of the fields that's got a ton of stuff, and you can miss it easy because only three of us kind of scattered through the fields. So you can easily miss something out there in one of the fields. We may go back and check again. I don't know. 
Anyway, I um, appreciate everybody coming along on this adventure. Uh, don't forget to click like, comment below, share, subscribe to the Gig Master, and keep coming along. You never know where we're going next. Stay tuned.